Hello, fellow knife enthusiast. We're back with our fifth episode. <laughs> I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And welcome to our show. Today we have some excellent knives to tell you about. But before we do, don't, for hit, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And turn on those post notifications. And you know what? Now that I think about it, we still don't have a name. You guys better, better better hurry up because by our 10th video, we will be choosing our name and the person that will get some swag. <laughs> well, let's not hold them in suspense. I'm sure they're just as excited to start as I am. How about you? Yeppers. What did I tell you about yeppers? Sorry. <laughs> wow. Our first knife is the Wyvern Liner Lock. It was created by the knife company, Civivi, and its handle comes in two different colors, mm -hmm. black and OD green. Coincidentally, we have them both here for you today. Uh, this knife has a D2 steel satin finish blade, and it's about three and a half inches long, along with a black FRN handle. Uh, a cool thing about this knife that I want to mention is that the handle has these cool dragon scale design. It's also a very nice texture. Uh, this one is the black handled one, and this one is the OD green one, obviously. Uh, they have the same specs, just different colored handles. Overall, these are very nice knives, and you can get them at AtlanticKnife.com for only $56.84 a piece. A really great deal when you think about it. A fantastic deal, since a real dragon is priceless. Speaking of dragons, what do you get when a dragon sneezes? I don't know. A cold? Out of the way. Before this show drags on, let's get to our next knife. The next knife we have is this Tatera liner lock. Uh, this knife is also made by Civivi. It comes in two different colors as well. Uh, this one is uh, has a D2 steel stonewashed finish blade. Uh, the handles are black G10 with carbon fiber overlay. Whereas this one is OD Green G10 with carbon fiber overlay. Doesn't Civivi sound like a word, you know, you would use in a drinking game? Civivi, take another shot. Oh my God. Yo, bartender, Joe Boo needs a refill. These knives are about eight inches overall. The blades are three and a quarter. Mm-hmm. Both of these knives have gold liners. Oh, snazzy. A flipper stud. <laughs> the snazzy threw me off. Sorry. And a lanyard hole. Each Civivi knife uh, uh, we have for you. Uh, crap. Each Civivi knife has a nylon zippered carrying case that's fur lined. It's got crap inside of it. Like David Hasselhoff's bedroom. And also, they also come with a cleaning cloth. Well, that's all of the Civivi knives we have for you today. However, don't turn your dial because we have another awesome knife coming up. And that is the Sprint Select Liner Lock. This knife was created by Buck, it comes in multiple colors. Uh, the one we have here has a gray GRN handle and it has a 420 high carbon mm -hmm. steel drop point blade. The blade length is approximately three inches and the overall length of the knife is seven and a half. It has this electric boogie woogie woogie <laughs> blue back spacer, which reminds me a little of the Kaiser Basalt we did last week. You know, the one with the, uh, the anodized blue color back spacer. It also has a pocket clip, like most knives do, for carrying on the go. You know what I like about this knife? What? The different handle design indentations. Um, I mean, it's got this curved section where you're, it, I mean, it just fits your hand, mm -hmm. which makes it easier to hold, but... <laughs> Fail. Then you have the honeycomb pattern mm -hmm. that's on the outside of it. This artistic design just makes the knife really 
pop. CMC is really buzzed about this knife. However, I like this knife too. It just really has a smooth opening. It feels like the pivot has just been oiled every time you open it. That's how smooth it is. I really like how smooth they are. Smooth knives, that's my thing. Another plus to this knife is that it's made in the USA. Like most buck knives, mm -hmm. uh, this one is currently $49.99 on landknife.com. <laughs> Our next knife on the table mm -hmm. is a lean, mean fighting machine. More like mean green fighting machine. And not North Texas University. It's the Buck and Bear Green Mean Fighter. This knife is, well, what are your first impressions, C? I like the knife. Mm -hmm. It's perhaps, you know, one of my favorites that we've done here on the fixed blade mm -hmm. uh, for several reasons. First, the Damascus uh, steel blade, it's great. Though it does require more care, mm -hmm. Uh, it suggested that you oil this knife often and keep it dry because, you know, Damascus blades, you know, they'll rust, but I, I like it. How about you, Jewel? Well, I like the green micarta portion of the handle and the drop point Damascus blade. Uh, I can also appreciate the full tang construction, the file work on top of the tang, and the brass pins in the handle. However, I tend to gravitate more towards folding knives personally. Why is that? Well, I like to put my knife in my pocket or my purse when I go places and I can't really do that with a fixed blade knife. Especially this one which is about like what, eight inches overall and weighs about five ounces. You can't carry that in a purse or anything, but is it really meant to be carried in a purse? Probably not. Yeah, uh, this is probably more of a carrying it on my pack or when I'm hiking. Exactly. Well, I love fixed blade knives, uh, especially this one. There are just so many little details, uh, mm -hmm. like the logo on the blade, uh, the Tommy two-tone color handle, the green and black, the brass pins mm -hmm. that you mentioned. They kind of, I really like those. They set the knife apart. For those that love carrying fixed blade knives, uh, this blade comes with a black scaled leather sheath. And it, too, has the Buck and Bear logo on it. It's a nice sheath. It is nice. Mm -hmm. The next knife that we have for you today, it's mm -hmm. also a Buck and Bear knife, and it is... The Crocodile. Crocodile Dundee, mate. No, just the Crocodile. You know, speaking of crocodiles, mm -hmm. do you know how to tell crocodiles from alligators? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. One will see you in a while. One will see you later. Wow. Back to the crocodile. This knife is a liner lock. It has a black G10 handle with a glass breaker and a black D2 steel katana style blade. Uh, this blade also has titanium coating uh, to prevent from rusting. Uh, the blade is outfitted with a really smooth flipper opening mechanism. And the overall weight of the knife is about five ounces, mm -hmm. and the overall length is about eight and a half. It's a very nice knife. Uh, the next item we have on the table to show you guys is the Cold Steel Mini Pal Push Dagger. Hey, Mr. Terry, that you ain't forgetting no Tina Marie. <laughs> About everybody. That's why they call me Pal. Not only is it a push dagger, it is one lethal keychain. <laughs> yes, this knife is a bit small, a bit on the small side. Probably the smallest we've had on here. However, this small knife packs a very sharp punch. Anyways, this knife weighs about half an ounce, <laughs> has a black Krayx handle and a Japanese Os 8A stainless blade, which is about uh, an inch long. Mm -hmm. While the knife as a whole was a little over two, two, two and a quarter. Half. Yeah. This is a very fine carry. Um, it also comes with this Secure X sheath plus the lanyard clip, which allows you to literally carry it anywhere. On a train. On a plane. In a box. With a fox. Here or there. Not there. Just kidding. You can take this knife anywhere. You know, for a minute push dagger 
it would definitely get you out of those close quarter situations. Yes, it most certainly would. It's easy to conceal, easy to use, and easy to carry. Um, this knife makes a great self-defense tool, especially as a tactical self-defense neck knife. Yes, it does. I bet it wouldn't feel too good uh, to have that thing jabbed into your thigh. Well, I don't know. I mean, acupuncture is proof that stabbing someone can make things better. Better for who? Obviously, the person holding the Cold Steel Mini Val Push Dagger, which is only $24.98 on... AtlanticKnife.com <laughs> Anyway, how big do you want a push dagger? I mean, the points to get you out of the problem. Yeah, if they see it, they're going to... And get you moving on. Yeah. Our next knife is also by Cold Steel. It's the Crawford Model 1. <laughs> this flipper has a 4034 stainless clip point blade, a glass reinforced nylon handle with rubber inlays. It weighs about four ounces, and the blade length is three, three and a half inches. Yes. Wes Crawford, uh, the custom knife maker, mm -hmm. has been a friend of Cold Steel for years. Uh, the knife strongly resembles Wes's custom knife, and because Wes Flipper is integrated into the tang, it can be deployed at really quick speed. And to keep your fingers safe, Cold Steel has put a uh, leaf spring lock on this knife. And with that, we are on to our last knife. <sighs> that is the... Chicks Frame Lock. This knife is made by Wee Knives. The flipper has a drop point bowler M390 stainless steel stone washed blade. <laughs> Say that three, three times. times fast. Yeah. Yep. And titanium handles with black G10 inlays. The blade length is about three and a half inches, and the overall length is eight inches. The frame lock has a deep carry pocket clip and a four and has four barrel spacers for a very exceptional look. Uh, this superfluous blade <laughs> comes with a black nylon pouch, fur lined, like... Hugh Hefner's robe. Yep. And it also comes with a snazzy cleaning cloth as well. Here's that snazzy again. I like this knife. Yeah. I like the Wii emblem and the titanium G10 handle. I mean, this EDC kind of reminds me of the Best Tech Beluga, yeah. but with far more upscale features. Okay, I guess I could see that. However, I think my favorite from the lineup this week is the Buck Sprint. I knew you were going to guess that. Yep. Well, now it's time to wrap up the show like a Christmas present. Wait, so you can't end just yet. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. We want to thank you all for watching, and don't forget to leave your suggestions about our name. Yeah, leave them below. Also, follow us on fa Facebook and follow us on Instagram at Atlantic Knife, where you guys can stay caught up with everything happening here at Atlantic Knife. And with that, I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel, and I'm stealing it back. We are signing off.